and welcome to Eventide 3, Legacy of Legends. This is Jewel Smith and it's Try It Tuesday. That's the day when I try out games I have never played before. I have never played Eventide 3 before. However, I have played the first Eventide game. And I liked it so much, I did the demo. And I liked it so much, I bought the full game and played through the whole thing on my YouTube channel. Eventide 3 just came out recently though. I think it just came out... Uh, I think on PS4 maybe just last month. I don't know. Uh, the w developer's website says it came out a year ago. September 2017. It's available... Let's see, it looks like for PC, and an app, and on Steam. Yeah, it may have just come to PS4 last month, but in any case, there is a free demo of it on PS4. And that's sometimes what I do for Try It Tuesdays are the free demos. And if I like the game enough, then I will go ahead and buy it and play through the whole thing. Let's see, even tied three. We're going to be stepping into the shoes of Mary Gilbert, world-renowned botanist and guardian of the fern flower. You guys might remember the fern flower from the first game. The Eventide 2 does not have a free demo on PS4. That's why I'm not trying that one next. <laughs> All right, let's press X to start. So we're skipping the second game. This is one of those Artifix Monday games. Artifix Monday publishes a lot of point and click puzzle games, and I like to do those every so often for a change of pace. My uh, next Try It Tuesday next week is going to be Sticks Shards of Darkness, and the week after that I'm planning to try Horizon Zero Dawn. Unlock full game? No thank you, not yet. New game options. Well, the music's already turned down halfway. Thank you so much, game. Usually it's turned all the way up, and I have to turn it down because it's just too darn loud. We'll go with casual. Because we're just here to wow, relax. I'm surprised have a good time. It's grown. Still, I believe the microclimate has more to do with that, not magic. Oh, brother. I do hope someday you'll find your way. Another storm? The weather's been crazy since spring. Is that snow? In July? Quick, the storm is coming. We need to get to shelter. Let's hide in my house. Follow me. The wind is strong. Grab the branches to stay on your legs. Grab the branches. All right, yeah, I can use the joystick. Grab the branch, okay. Take my hand. Open notes to see objectives. Okay. Watch out! How did you know? I don't know. It's just a strange feeling. Hurry up! My leg is stuck. X to collect item. We know how these games work. We need to climb up there. <laughs> Tie the rope while I take care of these things. Tie the rope. Uh, open inventory. A small plus symbol on the item indicates that you can inspect it closer and interact with it. Okay. Select the item with a plus sign and press triangle to examine it. Use hint? I don't want to use a hint, but okay. It seems to want me to use a hint. Oh, 
Hold X to proceed, okay? Oh no! What happened here? What a huge hole! I don't think it was lightning! Watch out! No! Oh no! Oh, oh no! no. These games seem to always have a family member getting kidnapped. <laughs> oh, he's losing. Did he drop a book? Magical creatures. Where did they take John? Hey, Herman. Hey, Herman's the person. Join us in the chat room. How are you doing today? Get to John's house. Okay. Zoom, zoom, zoom. What's this over here? Grab. Okay. Need to break the ice first, okay. Oh, what did I get? I collected something. Alright, I, I don't need to water the garden now. There are more more urgent things to do, okay? Well, I was thinking maybe I would run water over this so that the ice would go away, but I guess that's not going to work. Walk up. Zoom. Interact. Oh, oh the doorknob is missing from his house. I need a tool to open it. Okay. going on here the crank is under the bars but I can't reach it okay that's how all these schemes work oh what happened there oh the crank is missing and it's under the bars well how are we gonna get it oh I can I can twiddle the, ha the hanging icicles there for some reason. Okay. Alright, let's see what else we can do here. We have to examine all of our possibilities in these puzzle games. Walk up. Help the creature. Okay. This is a maze. J John, I I have to help. Are you okay? Those monsters kidnapped my brother. Uh, a human seized me? How? Oh, this maze. I need to wake him up. He knows what's going on here. All right, I've grabbed whatever that is. Hold to go back. Well, I don't want to go back quite yet. I want to examine everything. I guess there's nothing else to examine, okay? It's strange that the storm stopped so suddenly. It was a proper blizzard. Well, there we go. got in his wallet. This code looks like some kind of combination. I'd better keep it. Okay. It's me, John, and our friends in Moreland Heritage Park. I miss college life. Was so simple then. I guess that's me. And this character was from the previous game that I played through. The first Eventide game. I think that's Grandma. Granny Baba or whatever her name was. Okay. Well, that's not helping me. Alright, so we have to try to connect the chain with this to pull it off of, pull the beam off of the big owl creature. 
Hey, GTR gang, how you doing? Hello, Rebel! How are you? Well, let's go out to the orchard. That's the only place I haven't been yet. Is that a pheasant? What's there in the grass? I don't know. I need to find the second part of the tongs, okay? Part of the tongs is stuck in the nest. I need to move the eggs carefully. Okay. There we go. Should I move the eggs back into the nest? And take the tongs. Maybe that will allow us to get the crank in the well? Maybe? Alright, some kind of special symbol. The chest is locked. Oh, it's frost on the fruit. Zoom. Alright, let's zoom in. Oh, I got that, whatever that is. Aha! Okay. It's rusted shut. Okay, we have a chisel, barbecue tongs, and a photo. Let's use the chisel, maybe. Can't do that? Okay. Can't do that either. So maybe I have to remove the rust before I can turn the lock? Is that what we need to do? Alright, doesn't seem to be anything else I can interact with here. Alright. Can't interact with that. Let's go back. Let's look in here. we use the tongs? Yes, we can. We'll grab the crank and put it right there. Okay, but we can't turn this until we attach it here. This has to be attached to that. See right here? Some kind of carabiner or something we've got to use to attach it or a piece of rope or something. Sure, I saw that creature in one of my books. Okay. Can't get into the house this way, it's too dangerous. Alrighty. Can I take this? No. I want to take this little piece of scarf here and tie it. Will that work? No. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe we can use the chisel. There we go. Is that an oil can? Oh, that's the doorknob, maybe. The doorknob for the door? No, it says oiler. <laughs> it is an oil can. Okay, I thought so. Um, let's see here. What can we do with the oiler? Rebel's doing good, but had a CBA day at work. What's a CBA day? Need to attach the chain to the beam first. That's what I thought. Alright, well let's go back to the orchard and see what we can do here. If anything. Oh, maybe the oiler can oil the lock. There we go. Remove the rust. Okay.
get it to match the code that was in my brother's wallet. And we found a padlock. We're going to be keeping that? I guess so. Oh, hello. Interact. Is that ammonia? Good that it's keep good that it's kept safe. It's really dangerous, okay? Always a scientific approach. So very John. Storms. Previous months. Tornadoes. Previous months. Tornadoes. Last year. Storms. Last year. Storms and tornadoes are a common thing lately. They are far from normal. Alright. Can we do anything with this? Turn pages? No? Okay. It's in the basket. A nutcracker? It looks like a nutcracker. Yep, it's a nutcracker. And there's nuts. What else is in here? Uh, I don't think that we can use anything. Yeah, we don't have a key yet. We gotta find a key. Can't just break the glass? I guess not. <laughs> Anything else in here that we're missing? No. Zoom. That's his book. Well, now we have a nutcracker and a padlock for all the good that'll do us. I just don't know. Oh, <laughs> CBA stands for can't be, can't be asked. <laughs> okay, one of those kind of days, huh? Oh, we collected something else. I don't know. Nope, can't do anything there. I don't see anything else we could interact with over here, so let's go back. Out here. Oh, okay. Maybe we can use the lock? No. Oh, okay. We're using the nutcracker to turn the doorknob. I get it. Into the house we go. It would have been a pretty house before it got all broken up. Zoom. What do we have here? John, I know you don't believe in my magical nonsense, but I could use your help. I need to plant an unusual flower. The climate in your forest seems perfect for it, and I hope you'll be happy to see your little sister again, Mary. I think I'm Mary. That's the protagonist here. Huh. Collected something. Okay. This book looks strange, and I can't open it. I haven't seen such an ancient phone for a long time. <laughs> you and me both. I used to have a phone like that a long time ago. Okay, we can interact with that. Old family stuff. It's all superstitions and old beliefs. We could sell it to someone who collects curiosities. The book might be worth something, but I can't find a way to open it. On the edge of the book there, it's like a little arrow kind of thing. Like that. That might be the key to unlock the chest. Oh, the hourglass is going. Okay, well let's interact with this. Oh my. It can be red. It can be green, or it can be blue. I wonder what difference that makes. Let's leave it on red. Anything else to interact with? No. I don't know what that means.
Well, okay, let's keep looking around. We've looked at that. There's much more to see in here. We found another whatever that is. I don't know what it is. Zoom. Interact. Warning. John may prefer old and proven solutions, but even he has to use new technology. Okay. What is this? We proudly present this degree in meteorology to Mr. John Gilbert. Okay. So my brother is a meteorologist. The day of John's graduation, I remember I took this picture. Ooh, it's broken here though. And there's a leaf in there. What does that mean? It's weird. Smelling salts recipe. Remember that pure ammonia is highly toxic. Ah, we're gonna need some smelling salts for some reason. Probably maybe to help the owl outside. We're gonna need some plants. Some ammonia. We're gonna have to find a key to get into the cabinet to get the ammonia out. I don't know what that third thing is. And a spoon and a pot. Mix it all together. Pour it into a glass bottle. Got it. Oh, and bandaging a broken arm. Showing us how to make a splint. Disinfecting a wound. Okay. Soap and whatever this is. And a band-aid. Or a plaster, if you prefer. Alright, that's it, huh? Alright. That's gonna be important later, I guess. Hope it's locked and we can't get into it. Alright, so that's the book. Can we pick up this leaf now? Nope, can't have it. Okay. Do you remember that that's there? Broken stairs doesn't look safe. Alright, we'll stay away from the broken stairs. <laughs> Rebel. Rebel says, of course you use nutcrackers to open doors, doesn't everyone? <laughs> nope, Harmon's saying, it's a nice looking game. Reminds me of Simon the Sorcerer, where you have to defeat a fire dragon with breath mints to cool him down. <laughs> that sounds like fun. Where's that game from? How old is that game? Was it on PC? Or PS3? Or PS4? The weather is truly insane. Snow in summer? What's going on? I, I don't know. The weather is truly insane. Snow in summer? What's okay. going on? Let's walk into the kitchen. Ah, here we go. This is where we can make some smelling salts. And it looks like... Ouch! This steam is too hot. The steam is too hot, huh? Okay. It looks like we have... John has always loved cooking. Okay, so here's the bottle. Here's the funnel. Here's the pot. Uh, here's the spoon that we needed. There's the recipe. Herbs, ammonia, menthol. Okay, this is menthol. Got it. All right, how am I going to? Ouch! This steam is too hot. How am I gonna turn down the steam? Where are the controls for the stove? They don't seem to have any controls. I really need these keys, though. I think. So we're gonna have to figure out how to move the pot. That's not a good idea. Yeah, you think? I don't know what we're supposed to do here. I don't seem to be able... I need to bring all the ingredients here. Okay. So where are we going to find all the ingredients? Back outside? kind of hoping for a little bit more than that. Huh. Hmm. 
Nope. Alright, well, we left it turned on red. I don't know what that means. We can turn this over again. Alright, let's go outside and see what happens. Sparkles indicate a hidden object seen. Oh, okay. This is new. Find the objects listed below. Oh, Hermes did the Simon game on the Amiga 533 years ago. <laughs> lots of reading, lots of puzzles like that. Yeah, I remember years ago I had a Texas Instruments computer and there were text games. It didn't have um, pictures like this one, but it, it had text that you would read through. Uh, there was like a pirate island one and there were different different adventures that you could have um, It was kind of like in trying to it was a puzzle game. You had to try to figure out how to interact With the game and You know manipulate objects and move things around you could type in commands They were like two-word commands like go north or you know take object or whatever and uh, and that's how you got through the game. I used to love those. These thorns look sharp. I guess I have to move them somehow. The thorns look sharp. I don't think I have the objects that are in my inventory. Yikes, I have to remove these cobwebs, but not with my bare hands. Okay, let's use the gloves. There we go. We grab that. Maybe use the gloves again over here. Grab that. Looks like lavender. Oh, I've only got 8 out of 18. Good lord. There's a lot more to do here. And what is that? Chamomile or something? I don't know what that one is. Mint? Looks like the gloves are gone, so I won't need those anymore. Oh, what is this? Oh, I have to break open the pot to find the, that one. Alright. 14. 15. Only three more. Well, now I'm just getting desperate. I'm clicking on everything. Even the music has stopped. Is that another one? Okay. That one there? No. I see ivy and flowers. Oh, I need two more. Oh, that was one. Okay, maybe this is the other one. There we go. I found all the herbs. Or herbs, if you prefer. <laughs> Alright. That poor bird, we still haven't figured out how to uh, how to get him out of there. Alright, let's put those down. Now we need some menthol. We got the herbs. We gotta get the ammonia and the menthol. Alright. I need to bring all the ingredients here. Okay. 
Alright, so we're gonna have to find the ammonia, but the ammonia is in a locked cabinet and it looks like... Hmm... Is there some way to bring ice in here and cool this down? Because apparently the stove doesn't have any controls and we don't have a pot holder in order to move... Huh, I don't know what that's for. We don't have pot holders? To move anything? Can't move this off the stove? Come on. He's gotta have some pot holders around here somewhere. I don't know what this is for. Let's put it on green and try it again. Let's see what happens. What's this? It's the house? Yeah, okay. See, right here we've got to try to attach this somehow. Oh! What's that? Oh my gosh! I figured it out! <laughs> sort of on accident. Alright, now we can go back. I wondered what that lock would be used for. And we'll move this off of the poor critter. I must help John before Zemaze takes him to Varai. Zemaze, Varai. I need to wake him up. Now let me guess. We're going to need smelling salts. Oh, hey, we've got a cloth there. A little tea towel. Maybe that can move the pot. Poor creature. It's unconscious. Yep, got to make smelling salts. I got it. I got you, Mary. I hear you loud and clear. Let's see if we can move this with the tea towel. There we go. Now let's grab the keys. That's what we needed. Oh, but there's something. Interact. Okay. Oh no, the key is broken. Inventory. Uh, we just bent a wire. Okay. I don't know what that was all about. But let's go see if we can get into the cabinet that has the ammonia. Can't do that one, huh? I need a lockpick. It's locked. Well, isn't this a lockpick? Key pendant. Not a good idea. Oh, first aid key kit. Okay. Well, isn't this... Alright, well, let's go get into the first aid kit now that we can. I guess that wire will just stay there. The first aid kit was in here. There we go. Oh, looks like we found some menthol and broken tweezers that we can use as a lockpick. Sure. There we go. I guess Mary knows how to pick locks. Anything else in here? Another collectible. Oh, and now we're done with that little scene. Doesn't seem to be anything else to interact with out here. Oh, right. We still have this. I don't think we can get into that yet, though. I haven't found anything that looks like that. Maybe? No. Alright, let's go make the smelling salts. We will put down the menthol 
And the ammonia. That should be everything that we need. Herbs, ammonia, and menthol, and a wooden spoon. Okay. Herbs. Ammonia. Menthol. There we go. And the wooden spoon. <laughs> they just become a pretty purple mass. I want a pot like this. That's a beautiful pot. Put that on there. Guess that's all we needed to do. Pour it into the bottle. And take it. Now we can revive that bar. It's not safe here. Oh, well, good thing we just got done with the kitchen. Now we'll use the smelling salts. Oh, I can recognize you now. You're John's sister. The one who turned towards magic. That's why you can see me. That's true. And you must be a magical creature. I'm Ivar, the guardian of this house. Do you know who those monsters are? Where did they take John? They are called Semais, and they are pure evil. They live pure in the evil, ride, huh? The land in the clouds. I need to get there. Can you help me? Maybe. John never accepted his heritage. But I know this box hides the story of your family. I hope you can decipher it and find a way to follow John. Ooh, help the creatures. Zoom in on the magic box, okay? Oh boy, look at this thing. He looks like some kind of wizard. Who does? The box? Oh boy, found a key. One piece of the puzzle is missing. Okay. Well, let's put the key in here. And that looks like the other piece of the puzzle. Oh, okay. I think this needs to go... There we go. There we go. Ooh, I'll take that. I bet that goes up here. There we go. Witch doctors? Magical powers? And our good old scientific John? To every man from our family, I hope one day our witchcrafter powers will be needed again. Witchcrafter, huh? This magic lies within you and perhaps someday you'll have to use it. This book, which has been in our family for generations, is proof. Ooh, 1913, huh? Ah, there's the cloud that'll help us get into the book. The creature Eidvar is still weak. But he wants to help me get to John. Okay. The creature Eidvar is still weak, but he wants to help me get to John. Sure. Oh, Herman's saying something about the wind vane on the big house. Is there a wind vane? I don't see one. would be up here, right? Well, let's go in. Now we have the cloud to use on the book.
You may skip the mini game with this when it recharges. All right, maybe I don't want to skip the mini game. All right. This is like part of the symbols. There's another part of it. And there's another part of it. The ride was a legendary land in the clouds, floating islands and towns in the sky. Very pretty artwork. Ooh, another Triskel. I think that was a symbol we saw in the first game. What was that? Interact? Oh, I have to pick up all the pieces of the Triskel. Got it. It's telling a story as we go along here. Clouders lived in Virai and influenced the weather with their magic. Clouders, huh? All right, an arrow and a thing, there's that. And a diamond. There it is, is that the arrow? Birds and flying creatures could get there easily. Yep. okay. Oh, this one. This one, and that one. There we go. Even Zemez, flying serpents were welcome. Flying there. serpents? Isn't that like a dragon? There we go. And that one, and that one. A rainbow was a bridge to their eyes. Oh, the Rainbow Bridge. And you can get there. I thought that went to Valhalla. <laughs> okay. If I make a rainbow, I can get to Varai. John was 1895. There. If this book is correct, I have to invent a way to spray water. Then I can make a rainbow whenever I want. Well, then it would be a sunbow. Isn't that what they call it? So if I make a rainbow, I can get to Varai? It seems John was taken there. Okay. So if I make a rainbow, I can get to Varai? It Any seems John more? was taken there. No, nope, that's all we can do. Okay. Interact. Ah, we have a map now. Unvisited locations, actions available. I am here. Path blocked, new path. I am here. Actions available. There's the garden. And there's the orchard. That's where we've been. And then I guess if we make a rainbow bridge, we've got all of this stuff that we get to play through. All right, close it, and look, you there. That looks like the key to open the chest in the orchard. I still wish I knew what this stuff did. The different lights. Maybe it'll have something to do with the rainbow. Okay, I don't think there's anything else to interact with in here. Oh no! Lucky thing I got out when I did. Well, let's go back here and open the chest. Since we can. Oh, another hidden object puzzle. Ah, oh, I like these. <laughs> this is fun. Red hat dwarf. Watering can. Empty basket. Bag of tulips, old pot, zero of three. Sprinkler, goggles, a lopper. A, lo a lopper? Do they mean clippers? Yeah, they do. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Shovel, glove, sun, and toy. Okay. Let's see here. This was sparkling. 
I need a full bag of tulips. This one is empty. Oh, maybe I have to gather tulips then, huh? And put them in the bag. It kind of looks like a french fry carton is what it looks like to me. Grab. Yeah, I'll grab that. Okay. Interact. Every dwarf has a red hat except for this one. What can I do about it? Oh, I can paint it. Now he has a red hat. Aww. Little gnome. There's a glove. There's a shovel. Come on, this is a shovel, isn't it? Uh, empty basket. Okay. What am I supposed to do with this? Weird. Interact. Okay. Oh, that was a toy. Okay. I still need... This looks like a sun, maybe? There we go. Goggles. A shovel. Three old pots. Oh, there's the shovel, I guess. Oh, this is a spade, maybe? Is that one of the old pots? Yes, it is. This looks like an old pot as well. <laughs> I've got an old pot. <laughs> oh, let's dump the nuts out of the basket. Now we have an empty basket. Hey, Mary, how you doing? This is so cool. Where's Waldo? Yep, <laughs> that's what this is like. Trying to find things. Goggles. There's glasses. All right, we still need the watering can. Okay, that's right here. Bag of tulips. Can I take these now? Yeah, I can. I need a sprinkler. Goggles. This looks like a sprinkler. There we go. And another old pot. That looks like an old pot. Goggles. That looks like an old can opener. I can't tell what that is. An old hoe, maybe? That's an old brush? I'm not seeing goggles. That's a hacksaw. And a saw blade. Oh, this little fellow looks hungry. Oh, okay, that's why we need the apple. There we go. He was sitting on the goggles. We have found a sprinkler. Hey, Victor O, how you doing? Rebel saying this guy makes me think of Guybrush. What's what's Guybrush? What do, what do I have in my inventory? A key pendant. I'm not sure what that's going to be used for. All right. So we got a sprinkler. All oh, right, because we're going to go attach it to the hose and make a rainbow. That's what we're going to do. Hey. We need to make a rainbow bridge to rescue our brother from the magic I'll be happy land. To carry you on my back. Let's go to Varai. Varai. And there we go. Try to keep balance on the path. Okay. L to move and X to begin. Okay. Oh, wow. So this is actually a little bit more interactive than these types of games are usually. Uh-oh, what happened? I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. Come on, Albert, dude. Get me there. Get
get me there. It shouldn't be this hard to fly up a rainbow bridge. We did it! We're here! <laughs> it's Varai! I'll try to find John. I can see a lot more from above. And you should find the king of the clouders. He can help us. The land in the clouds. How can I find the king? All right, we are in the land in the clouds. Talk to the king. I wonder how much further this demo is going to go. <laughs> Usually they last uh, half an hour to an hour uh, through the very beginning of the game, depending on, you know, how hard it is or how long it takes me to get through the puzzles. There's another one of those objects. I'm not sure what that's all about. Collected. Let's look here. Will it tell me? Uh, it's not telling me anything about the collectibles. Okay. I don't know what that's all about. Just things to find and pick up, I guess. Oh, okay. Guybrush is the hero in the Pirate Island games, Rebel is saying. Okay. Oh, Mary's is going over the Rainbow Bridge just like all my childhood goldfish. Oh. Zoom. What's this? If you ever need your king, ring this bell. It, I will come to help my people. Something is stuck here. Yep. Is that an eye patch? Oh, I need to make a new slingshot and I'll need some ammunition. Okay. I guess it's not an eye patch, it's a slingshot. It's covered in moss. I need to clear it. Nope. Okay. I need to make a new slingshot and I'll need some ammunition. Great. Oh, okay. I see. I see. I see. Okay. Have a slingshot. Ring the bell. Get the king. Got it. Nope. That's not going to work, huh? Okay. Oh. The collectible. We'll take that, I guess. Can we use it to get this thing out? No, can't do it that way. Okay. How do I get to the other islands? I have no idea. Oh, I see. There's the bell up there. So we'll have to make a slingshot and ring the bell. Ring the bell! Sorry, that's <laughs> an obscure reference. I can use that branch as a slingshot, but it's too high for me to reach. Maybe we'll use that. There we go. Okay, um... I need to clean it first. That won't work. I can't do it that way. Alright. Well, we'll have to figure out how to clean off the branch then. Looking around, looking around. I guess this is the only place we haven't been. Oh, found a little knife. And that's probably where that triangle thing goes. Let's see if we can use the knife to get it out of there. Yes. We'll take it. And we'll go over here. We'll put it in there. We'll open that up. Ooh, and it was full of magic or something. <laughs> Poisonous gas or something. I don't know what that is. All right. Broken slingshot. Yep. Let's use the knife. There we go. And we'll put that on it. And now we need some kind of pebble or something to put in here. Right? 
to ring the bell. Maybe that's what we'll find in here. Yay! Another hidden object puzzle. Find 12 magic fruits. Okay. They look kind of like raspberries. Maybe they're snozberries. <laughs> oh, there's a little froggy. Interact, huh? That's kind of like a Venus flytrap there. Okay, just two more, huh? This is really pretty artwork, I think. I mean, all of these Artifacts Monday puzzle games are pretty. But this being a more recent one, I think it's even prettier than some of the older ones. What do you guys think? If you've watched any of my previous <laughs> previous Artifacts Monday, Try It Tuesdays, or playthroughs, I was saying earlier for some of you that may have joined us a little late that uh, I had played the first Eventide game. I did it for Try It Tuesday and I liked it so much that I bought the game and played through the whole thing. Oh, I need one more. Where is it? Will I get penalized if I just go clickety click 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 over this whole thing? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Ammunition, huh? I thought they were magic berries. Alright, let's put some ammunition in here. And let's ring the bell. Oh gee whiz. Did I get it? I guess I got it. the end of the demo. <laughs> Rebel's asking, how do you know if a fruit is magic? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Mary's licking the screen and says the snozberries do not taste like snozberries. <laughs> oh, that's funny. It's lookable wallpaper for nursery walls. <laughs> well, this is interesting. I do think that the story... The story is very similar to all of the other Artifacts Monday games. There's always, seems like, from all the ones I've tried and all the ones I've played, there's a female protagonist, and then one of her relatives or someone very close to her gets kidnapped or disappears, and then she has to go and find them. That seems to be always be the way. Now, there was a game that I tried out... Oh gosh, I can't remember exactly when I tried it. It was a few months back. Uh, and let's see here. I'm gonna play it in October. There we go. It was called Dark Arcana the Carnival. It was another Artifacts Monday game similar to this, uh, but it was set, I think, in modern times. And it was set in this really creepy, dark, gothy horror carnival with like a magic mirror into an alternate reality. You can see my Try It Tuesday on that one, but it was such a cool game. I want to play through the whole thing. I do want to buy the full game of that one, but I'm going to save it and play it in October because it seemed like just the perfect kind of game for Halloween. So that one will be coming up next month sometime. 
Uh, golly, yeah, next month is October already. Can you believe it? <laughs> Where is this year gone? Where did this summer go? Oh, right, I spent it in the hospital and recovering from surgery. Oh, what a bummer summer. But uh, hopefully the fall will be better. Yes, in the fall I do plan on playing Dark Arcana the Carnival. So that's another point-and-click game uh, with these kinds of puzzles. But the, the protagonist is a female, but she has to search for a missing woman. It's not someone of personal importance to her. It's uh, She's a, a police officer, I think, a police investigator, and she's investigating the disappearance of a, of a mother, of a woman. Um, her, her child is is there. Her child is alright, I think. And it's just the mother that disappeared. So she's trying to get the mom back for the little girl. Um, looking forward to playing that one. What else am I going to play in October? Uh, possibly try out a game called Crypt of the Serpent King. I don't know what that's all about. But there was a free demo and it looked kind of cool and creepy. If you have any suggestions for Try It Tuesday games, I just ask that they be on PS4 and that there be a free demo or if it's on sale, I'll pay up to five bucks <laughs> for a game. I get a lot of Try It Tuesday games on sale if they're not <laughs> if they're not free. Um, but uh, but I've got Horizon Zero Dawn coming up later this month, and that one I'm playing because my daughter bought it while I was in the hospital. I didn't realize. I just found out a few weeks ago that she had the whole game because she's been playing it. So I said, well, cool. When you're done playing it, I want to do it for Try It Tuesday. And if I like it, and, and I think I might, then I can continue playing the whole thing because we own it. So that'll be a lot of fun. But uh, anyway, yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. I think the artwork is uh, very pretty. And sometimes I like doing these sorts of games just as a change of pace. Let me know what you think. If you're enjoying yourself, leave a like, subscribe, tell your friends. Let me know if you want me to finish playing this game if you want to see more of it. Otherwise, I will hopefully see you on Friday for Fallout Friday or Monday for Skyrim Monday. Take care of yourselves. Until next time, bye!